Life's a Beach. I'm your host, Claudia. Hey, Claudia, and I'm and David. I'm here with David and Eddie. Eddie. Hey, guys. The butt shaping heart uh, mascot. Ah, sensei. <laughs> Absolutely. He's my uh, art instructor, and I'm David's art instructor. So she is. right she now, really this is. is like the full circle, like. Art as it's unfolding, right? Absolutely. <laughs> truly, truly is. And it unfolds before your eyes. Uh, remember that during our rants and rambling and talking over each other, uh, something is actually happening behind us, and it's Eddie creating these beautiful um, paintings of uh, butt-shaped hearts. Oh, it's a purple one. Wow, where did you get that imagination right there? It's a continuation of the lingerie series. The lingerie series. The lingerie series. Yes. If you guys have any ideas for butt shaped hearts, we love to hear them. It's always fun. Um, there's the, I, I love the cubic one. Oh, and that is kind of cool. There's the B one. In the last show, what did you did the. Uh, I did the tiger. Yeah, the you tiger did the, one. Right there. The tiger, that was the first this time. Right here. Look. First time he did an animal print. Well, um, I did the bumblebee. And then the bumblebee was before that. So I like the bumblebee. It's almost like there's a stinger right there. It's cute, but it's yeah. like it's just like a bumblebee. They're really cute, but then they have the stingers. Yeah, yeah it's like emphasizing the bumble. <laughs> I think bu I say bumble, and I think bubble, and I think bubble butt. It just goes right. And bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> All right. Well. We've had a very eventful uh, last week, um, wow. beginning with Carmageddon. Hello, we survived Carmageddon! <laughs> Thank you, Los Angeles! All the big <laughs> hype and all the brouhaha, like, and people end up staying home. I mean, I it was unbelievable. Nobody, the freeways were empty. Mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. it's like, mm -hmm. you, you could ride your bike, mm -hmm. your low riders, yep. everything. Even the taco guy and the hot dog guy was people, pushing their cart. People at home warmed up their cup of noodles instead of going out for like real noodles at a restaurant or yeah. fake noodles at a restaurant per se. Yeah. No, yeah, bad. restaurants were saying what? The, oh, they were. They people felt like had they were specials. Shortage, but people yeah. had Carmageddon specials. Hey, come over. You know, like happy hour and stuff like that, right? Did you go All to over. any of those specials? I didn't go to any of those specials. Neither no. did I. I I, I did uh. I did get out of the house, and it was it was weird. It was weird that there was nobody out on the street, and I mean, nerve wracking. Cause I I'm we're on the west side, so we're thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna be bombarded. There's gonna be cars on top of cars, yes. and it was this whole fear tactic, right? Like fear, like ooh, ooga booga, don't go out, I like stay at you home. Said that word, oh, dude, I, fear tactic. I was at a family reunion this weekend. Oh, and in sec we were in Sacramento. There was about 800 of our family met in this like park out there in this ranch. 800 Mexicans. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Mostly the ones like Documents. nobody flew out from Mexico. Are you kidding me? Wait, wait. So US 800 Mexican? U.S. Like, like que viva! Bonding, bonding, Voter power. Bonding and loving each other in Sacramento. Thank that is great. So, how was so it? what was really crazy is that I saw Carmageddon signs out there. <laughs> Carmageddon was in Sacramento. Well, you know what? Alfonso's neighbor actually said, "We're going to San Diego for the weekend. We're thinking of, of uh, they wanted to board up their windows, okay?" And well, they what? said, "He said my mother from Alaska called me and was worried about Carmageddon." <laughs> I was, there was Carmageddon in Alaska, way. <laughs> like, people in Alaska. Yeah, they would freak out the Palin people. Can I just say one thing? Like, there's a reason why this is reason. Things like this, I think we don't need 24-hour news coverage. I mean, there we work in production, and people just come up with the lamest things to record, and people watch it. And are you kidding me? Like, this I, is, it was just way over the top, media eventful for sure. Yes, 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 I, and. Media eventful for me, traumatizing because of this whole Rupert Murdoch. Uh, oh, Rupert Murdoch. And News of oh, the World my. scandal. Oh. Uh, let me hear, as you, go ahead, I'll find something I, mean, I got over do, here. Why should I even bother checking my voicemail? I mean, you know, 
And somebody might have used it already. <laughs> like, <laughs> like taking advantage of the number, taking they, advantage they of They hacked my... your account. Yeah. All this underground, I've heard stories. Is there anything, I really? I, I heard stories that you would not believe how his people were just hacking everything. I mean, even from the 9-11 thing. Uh, from our country here, we had Rupert Murdoch's people, reporters, hacking the phone calls of the families that were grieving mm -hmm. from 9-11. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hackers. Now, mm -hmm. I heard... And they already have a system. They'll delete messages so that newer ones can come in. Well, That's what happened. That's what they got caught with, right? With that 13-year-old uh, mm -hmm. girl that had been missing. Apparently... Mm -hmm. The family was kind of like tripping and going like, well, her phone's accepting messages. Mm -hmm. So they thought she was alive. They yeah. told the police, she's alive. Okay. She's alive. Right. Lo and behold, they find out that somebody had been calling, hacking the, her phone. Asqueroso. And, and deleting the, family, the messages. Leading the family to believe maybe <clears throat> she's still alive. Maybe she's still out there. Maybe she's trying to communicate or contact us or find out information. You know what I mean? But no. It was freaking cerdos, dude. Yeah, and Rupert, Rupert, whatever his name, Murdoch, el cabrón. Right? He was setting everything up, paying people. Now, this guy, mm -hmm. believe it or not, in Australia, he owns like 80 to 90% of all the media that's all out there. Newspaper, mm -hmm. television, magazines, everything. This mm -hmm. guy owns it all over there. And they're mm -hmm. saying he's going to lose it all. This is heavy, heavy weight. Now, here's a, here's a trip thing it's, today. Today, this morning, apparently, there was a whistleblower on this whole thing. The original guy, a former reporter, Sean, I can't pronounce his last name, Herrera or Hora, but he's not Latino, who was the first person to go on the record with knowledge of these phone hacking, was found dead this morning. Yes, and they're saying that, that it wasn't related. I, oh, it's totally... They've announced that it's not... They're trying to say, oh, no, 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 it's not related. And in other news, they're talking about how the police or Scotland Yard, the Metro Police or whatever in England, is in bed with the media in, in, in England. They're so in it's bed? Like they're in bed. Maybe I'd become a police guy over there right now. Too. Well, wasn't that what mm -hmm. V for Vendetta was about? Yes. Oh, that's right. That movie. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's happening. Something. Uh, this, these are true events. These are. Uh, Rupert Murdoch is going to go to court in England to face charges, and. He's actually been replaced. He's been replaced. They've taken him down his position, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just. There's more. I mean, they're saying we can't that more than no. Yeah. And his his advisors, they're all gonna be let go. Also, it's not just him. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody. They're letting them all go. What they're saying is that all the people, because apparently and Rupert has finally. been a total dick to everybody. He's me, a total I, dick, and it's gonna backfire on him. Mm -hmm. So everybody's gonna turn on him now, mm -hmm. and he's the guy. Might as well put a gun to his head and say mm -hmm. adios. Let's let's talk a little bit about who Rupert Murdoch is because uh, a lot of people saw that the the what is it a doc documentary about Out Fox mm -hmm. and so it's important for people to know that this is the guy that was in charge of Fox News and and um, they I mean they're blaming them in the documentary for the election of W Bush that you know they were that Murdoch and the Fox family was in bed with Republicans and that that's part of their agenda and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I can see that. I, I can see it. He was totally in bed mm -hmm. with Bush. You got Rupert and Bush. Mix them together. Nasty. Pendejos, they come up. That's a different kind of fetish. Well, yeah, it, it, it is. <laughs> Well, um, That's a twisted, dark moving on, I'll just go on to some uh, news. In Denver, Colorado, a woman is accused of groping the breast of a female TSA agent at the airport. The woman is getting support from the Facebook friends and family who disapprove of the TSA procedure. So they say it went like this. I mean, I get, uh, like ah! that. <laughs> she groped her like this. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, straight out, like. Uh, a little That's harder. Like, I mean, a little bit. Oh, yes. Like that? 
I my God, yeah, just like that. She groped there, and they're saying that um, basically she she goes, "How would you feel like now?" Let me do this to you. She was being patted down. Oh she didn't God. like it, so she went to the Se TSA defendió. agent. Wow. Yeah. Yep, she went right back to the TSA agent. So that's what she gets. Mm -hmm. Now over the weekend, we mm -hmm. had the soccer game, the Women oh. Soccer World Cup. Japan. Japan USA. won. Japan won, yeah. Our team USA, they gave it the best. So oh, USA, yeah, the girls I mean, they did were really amazing. good. They yeah. were. I mean, the goalie, I have to say, for our team USA, it's kind of hot. Yep. They, she was yeah. really cute. She was hot. I mean, yeah. very doable. You've got very girl. doable. But they had that one Morgan girl. She's very young, cute, <laughs> but she's 17 years old. So I'm we not going to spend 17 years in prison for that. <laughs> but. You know, the people were, believe it or not, people in our country were so upset that our team lost, that Japan won, that they were boycotting sushi for the day. <laughs> boycott sushi for the day. It's like, it's I not the restaurant sushi. owner's fault. Yeah. It's not even, it's, no. it's American's fault. <laughs> We're not, yeah. not preparing enough, you know, and being, being good enough. And, and, and I mean, the funny thing it's was... It's a game. There's going to be winners. There's going to be losers. Next time, dude. Next time. Let's oh, prepare yeah. for next time. But did you hear... Their strong point was the ending of the goalie. The goal... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apparently, mm -hmm. USA has always... That was their strong point, but they lacked on it in the, in the game. They really she, did. She made that leap, though. I saw her. She went for the ball. Oh, she went for she the went ball, for all right. It. She leaped through it. Yeah, she, she was. Well, um... Wait, wait, I have something, too. I'm oh, really excited oh, about um, the Kings of Leon. They're, they're, they're starting their tour, their U.S. tour, this week, and they're going to be in um, Orange Beach, Alabama. So I'm looking forward to them coming to L.A. They're going to be playing at Irvine. And I'm. Um, we gotta go. I haven't Again. missed the show, and it's been a lot. I mean, I actually saw them in um, in Dallas, mm -hmm. Texas. Dallas. Yeah, go Dallas! I saw them there once. That was the furthest I've seen them. I'm dying to see them in Nashville. Dying to see them. I want to see Nashville. them in their hometown. Yeah, I want to see them with their fans, the people that have been following them for years. You know what I mean? Because I, I love it. I love that. Okay. They're comforting. Comfort is always <laughs> they make good. Me, they put me in a, in a happy place. <laughs> I mean, the fact that they're hot helps tremendously. <laughs> but, I mean, I, my dad was a seminary, and their dad is our, like, a, what was it, a reverend or a preacher. So when I hear them talking about the things that they talk about in their songs, which I think is mostly girls. I mean, uh, well, yeah, some, I would hope so. I was talking to somebody else, and they said, well, you know they're really religious. And I said, yeah, I know. Kings of Leon, really? Well, yeah, because they're Christian family. Like I'm saying, they're, they're sons of a preacher. So. Well, I mean, there's plenty of people that are, like have preacher's family, and they turn the other way. They go left instead of right. I, well, that's what's exciting about their music, I think, that mm -hmm. they, they have mm. tendencies towards both. Well, Kings of Leon, yep. come to L.A. Definitely. Looking forward to it. Well, great. Um, what you got? Sony has the very first. Now, everybody, bring your A game to the table because they got the very first PlayStation phone. Um, you can play up to seven preloaded games. The Sony Ericsson Xperia is coming out. That's what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a cell phone. And mm -hmm. it's preloaded with seven different games. You can surf the web, call, do all your normal things. Oh, wow. And, uh, Fancy. Yeah. Gamers, hello. That's right. That's Rocio, right. I know you're a gamer, girl. I know you got the Xbox at home. Oh, yeah. Then this would be perfect for right, yeah. off, right off the cell phone. Everything. Okay. They haven't set a value on it, but you could go and check it on Best Buy's. Okay, that's Best Buy's got it. So, any date time? Like, uh, re do they have a release coming soon? No. No? No, they're just, oh. you can call Best Buys. You can check on their okay. website, bestbuy.com. Harry Potter. Mm. Anybody going to see Harry Potter? Big, big weekend. Yeah. I didn't. I know somebody that did. I did. It grossed <laughs> over $5 million. And I got to say, it's a great movie. Very good movie. Finally did it. Last one, 
you know, <laughs> you, you haven't seen any of them. I've never but you've seen, seen any the of last them. One. I went you to know, see the last one. I almost saw it without seeing the first <laughs> part, and I couldn't. I couldn't bear myself to do it. You're out of control. It was really good. You In go fact, out gun blazes like. I, <laughs> hell, I always said I'm. <laughs> I'm not going to Harry Potter, puto, you know, give me, give me puto two, puto Harry pass, Potter three, pass, four, five, pass. but yet I've become a mamon and I go see number seven. The third one was the best one. Really? That's I what, did see uh, parts that, of it. That, uh, for up until like the first part that I haven't seen. I bet you, I you see okay, what happened two. in they part have, three? They're actually doing double features. So if you're like me and you're like, oh shit, they have two last movies for Harry Potter. I have to go to two of them. That's a lot of pennies. Well, That's save your pennies, pennies and watch the last one. <laughs> Okay. Save your pennies to watch like because in the last one it kind of brings up every it's like Rocky, remember? So skip Rocky, the double feature. Rocky I brought up a little bit of everything. Feature. I want the double feature. Yeah, go see it. Okay. Double feature it. But seriously, if you haven't seen the movie and you go to the, and see the last one, you don't need to see the, the other ones? No. It's amazing. No. Yep. Wow. Yep. yep. That's how good it was. I really liked it. It was I caught up to it. The girl hooks up well, I won't say it, but you know. What you would least expect happen to happen. Ooh. Yeah. So they make references to, yeah. oh, yeah. to, the, yeah. to the, all the movies. Absolutely. <gasps> That's so cool. But it was so funny because seeing Harry Puto from the beginning in part one he to was what a he baby. is in part seven. Yeah, he had in part in, in, The guy know. forgot to shave, okay? Whoa. He got a little musky. Oh, he's gone through puberty, that's why. Oh, yeah, big time. <laughs> big time. His voice changed the whole thing. <laughs> we saw it happen. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It was Absolutely. exciting. It was exciting watching uh, Radcliffe grow up like that, and I, I, I'm i looking forward to the, the Good finale. movie. Go see it. I saw it in 3D. It was really cool. Aww. Some movies they keep, you know, like 3D, but it's not 3D. This one was great. You need to wear those glasses. Okay. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez, Mark Anthony, Splitville, <gasps> after seven years and twins, apparently there's rumors of este putita Jennifer. What a puta. Really? Yeah, she's like, she's <laughs> slutting around. She's slutting around. What does that mean, slutting around? Uh, well, um, let's see. It, let's, let's go back in, the, in her history. Apparently, Jennifer has had a history of, like, affairs on the side. Oh. Yeah, okay. she's not. Oh, you mean in, that that her and Mark were kind of friends before they got Oh, married? absolutely. While oh, they were yeah. in each relationship. Absolutely. So. Yep, yep. And he dumped the what was it, Miss America? Oh, from, Miss Puerto Rico. Miss Universo. She was, she was hot. Yeah. She I was know. sweet. But you know what Dianara, right? Adios, Dianara. But Jennifer has been caught um, hanging around with uh, William Levy. Who was uh, the hot model in her video? Ooh. Yeah. Eye candy. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We're suckers for eye candy too. I mean, it's Guilty. like you go, you go kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the size of the chorizo that does it? Would it be the size of the chorizo? Would it be? I mean, Jennifer needs somebody, something that needs a. Jeez. Uh, well, is it? <laughs> Why would she leave Mark Anthony? She loves him. Oh. Ben Affleck for Mark Anthony. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, well, that I guess Mark Anthony's got a bigger choice than Ben Affleck. You think she needs an Affleck. upgrade? She needs. Well, an I upgrade. guess Mr. Uh, Levy had a bigger wow. choice. Yeah. That's so. crazy. I mean, why? Why? Is it the size? <laughs> I mean, we could just turn around and say, no, I don't want you. Yeah, your titties are too small. I'm going to grow up the other ones. No, you know what? Men left women all the time for new models. Don't give me that. But Jennifer does it. This is Mark yeah. Anthony. Yeah. They just sang a song together. He made a song I for her. I wasn't all that great for him. He's all right. I like him all is right. Is he ugly? No. That's fair no. He's not ugly. He's too skinny. For my taste, he's too skinny. He looks like he's sick. You know, and maybe the I can I can deal with height, like you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't have a problem, you know, dating somebody that's shorter or taller than me. It really has not been an issue. But uh, the Napoleon complex, I think, <laughs> is funny. They get like feisty. <laughs> <laughs> don't you tell me what to do? Don't you tell me what to do? <laughs> But I, if you look at Mark Anthony, the guy looks like he's sick. 
Yeah, well, it's, I think it's, sick? it's the cook, right? The guy was I, stuck on cocaine for well, a long um, time. Well, there's apparently, there, the fact is, is that a while ago he found he's out. Like, which is another, uh, hello, if um, I were Jennifer Lopez, I am not dealing with limp dick. Well, I just slap the nut. I'm dealing with lip I, Here, can you go dick, like this? Can okay. you go like this? Can you go like this? Go like that. <laughs> that, that wakes up the balls. Huh? It wakes up the nuts, and then you go, swing. I bet you she wouldn't even do that for him. Ooh. I bet you she wouldn't. She's Jennifer Lopez. Thanks All she has to do years, is oh. wear a thong or jeans. She doesn't, I mean, anything. She can wear a muumu, and you can see her ass through her pants, and she looks glorious, and yo, a mi se me para, and yo me la echo. You get a boner, <laughs> too? Oh, my. But yeah. maybe she's got a smelly one. We oh talked about God. that. Maybe she's got a smelly one. Mark Anthony refused to go with them during the 4th of July fireworks. They had a Malibu house. There you at go. The and he's aburrido. And he aburrido. Se le, se le va, no se le sube. Like, come on. The guy's sick. Look at him. He's probably... He doesn't eat. I'm sorry. She doesn't cook I for him. I want somebody lively in bed. <laughs> well, I'm, feed the guy. Yeah. I mean, feed him. Oh, well, well, Mark, She's I tried. She's made buddy. of meat, dude. She's made of meat. It doesn't matter. She may have the nalga, you know, uh, spank that. Maybe he's, but drained. Maybe he's drained. Maybe he's drained. Maybe he's drained. Him. She drained him. She sucked it out of him. Because <laughs> he, he used to look decent years ago. Yeah. No, I mean, you know what? I'm he's a, I, changed I'm a... color throughout the years. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, what is the uh, the calorie or the the content of sperm? I think is like uh, it's mostly sodium, but no potassium. You're asking the wrong potassium. person. Potassium. I have no idea, I but think I love it. So I looked it up. I okay. wanted to know. Potassium and what else? It's mostly potassium in the in the gooiness. That's. Is like, it yummy? Um. I don't know. Is it yummy? Eddie? What, Eddie? <laughs> Why do you look at Eddie? I don't think Eddie yeah. sucks dick. <laughs> at least if you want your semen to be tasty if you're a man, don't smoke and eat meat and eat some pineapple. Pineapple, Pine absolutely. Don't smoke and eat meat? Are you Smoking and eat meat will make it taste nasty. Just really? like the same thing with women. So it's like, what, 12 hours before? Garlic or? will make it taste garlicky, you know. It's like, it's like anything. It's any fluid that you have, you know. It's important Is this too. like a day before or like... Hours before mm -hmm. you, when you know you're gonna get it on. Oh. Yeah. So in other words, guys, don't eat meat. Yes, if you don't want her to swallow, and don't smoke. If you want, <laughs> yeah, if you want her to well, swallow and be tasty, and also if you alcohol, want it in, your, in her mouth. Oh, if she wanted it, well, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I, but I, I, I need backup H here. I need. I heard yeah, this bring her back up. Bring her. Bring her in. I heard this on an HBO show, so I mean. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. HBO has a, a sex we, show. Uh, we're big fans of uh, real sex on HBO. Big fans. Big fans. That's right. Much love to you. But so we in have, other words, but you just hold it in your mouth? You don't swallow? I don't know. I, I'm just talking about the stuff that's on the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a guest for you. Yes. Yeah? yeah. So you, she kind of like, you know, was teasing us in the last show, I Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Well, let's bring her. I got more hopefully, topics to talk about. Hopefully, hopefully let's get we, can, some, we yeah. can cover some of these topics Absolutely. with her. Let's bring her in. You want a sandwich? Let's, like. Oh, yeah. Okay. We can let's, get her to come on that yeah, side. Yeah, 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 yeah. We okay. Can, can um, all the way oh, no, from <laughs> Texas via Hollywood. Hey, right on. Right on. Here you go. We have. Hey everybody! La preciosa. Hi everybody! Hey. What's the difference between lack and love? Ooh, Ooh let's see. Lack, much? lack and love. You Blow lose. Jobs? A spit or a swallow, honey. That's the difference. <laughs> when you're talking about who's gonna spit, who's gonna swallow, that's it. That's right. it right there, baby. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, do you swallow? And apparently, according to my friend April's mama, old man sperm stank. <laughs> because uh, her mama bought condoms age 62. She said, "Mama, what you doing buying those condoms?" She's like, "I don't want to talk about it." They got into the parking lot. And she goes. 
Girl, I had to buy condoms because old man sperm stain. <laughs> and I mean, I was like, I fell out when I heard that. So I was like, oh my God, is this what I have to look forward to if I ever get married? Barf. So, well, yeah. You would have a condom to... <laughs> to, when you can't, like, you know, I guess... To deposit into a yeah, bag. Yeah, it stinks. It's all over the place, on the sheets, on our, you know, cha-cha, you know, and sensitive Ooh. parts. And depending on what man, you know, it also... I've heard, uh, I've heard that, Allegedly. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, sperm stings and burns, oh. so it's like, what are men, e you know, like, do, yeah, yeah, well, it like, all depends who, who is you're it dating. spicy? Right, and with? what are they uh, eating, and what's their DNA and chemistry? Yeah. I would what's say if it was a Mexicano or a Latino, it's going to sting and burn. No. Okay. <laughs> it's the Actually, truth. La pura neta, right? It's kind I mean, of, you, you got to imagine, let's have salsa and chips. I get no, the rico the salsa. It's, um, uh, Mexican sperm is, um, mm, it's smooth. I think it's smooth. Mm. Oh, can I ask you a question? Uh-oh, here it comes. Have you tasted your own sperm? Hell no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just not even, like, as a kid Why out of not? curiosity? Has no. anybody in the I room, have you, have you ever tasted Any? your own? Well, by accident. Have you tasted okay. yourself? Kissing a chick after she's blown me. Okay. That, that, that counts. counts. That counts. That counts. Okay, <laughs> yes. We're on the same page. <laughs> um, and I let me tell you, if there's any children watching I out there, I don't kiss her. If you can't admit you I masturbate, go, you can't be watching this show, you okay? Should, you should look away. That's yeah. right. Look away. Turn I, out. <laughs> after I make my deposit, I tell go brush your teeth. <laughs> go wash it up. I will not kiss her. That's, see, that's the difference between like and love. Yeah. Okay. That's well, the I'm difference not in love with like her. Like and love. I, I'm not in love with her. Oh, she's not watching. My God. Go get there's me. No, that's there's like nobody. You. There's nobody. <laughs> anyway, Ray. So what? Do you have you tasted yourself? No. I'd like see? to see more. Have you have you kissed a girl after they've can't tasted remember. you? Wow. Can't remember. Allegedly. That sounds like a cop-out. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to say the truth. I'm going to say the we truth. We don't cheers to cop-out, yes, but we do. Yes, maybe, yeah. maybe. Can I, can I get a... Maybe I have tasted my sperm by kissing the girl. I was just kind okay. of about asking Well, that does count. Out. That yes. counts. And it's yeah. okay. And it's not, It's yeah. just like the same thing with a guy but going down on a girl. Apparently, if different guy guys taste different. Girl, just yeah. like people say that vegetarians taste different to meat eaters. And, you know, mm -hmm. like I said, every, you know, because everybody, I think, is a different blood type and whatever. Maybe everybody's body chemistry is a little bit different. Right. I knew a guy that had re was very, very acidic, and he worked mm. with metal, and everything would rust around him. Oh. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He would sweat so much. And he, his body was really, it's really, I don't know. I need more loot, baby. I mean, if, you, if somebody's under, uh, around oh, tox, toxic stuff, I mean, the toxicity must rub off. I mean, we're talking well, about paint. miners, well, paint. painters, well, carpenters. Well, who else? I don't paint. know about electricians. What, what are, are, are they? They electrify. They're, they're zany. <laughs> My uncle's crazy. Electricians? Sure. Electricians have sure. to be a little Mechanics, zany. Welders? Yeah. yeah. Metal workers? Chefs. Oh. Plastic. Chefs, yes. So sure. that's why yeah. they're goofy. They're goofy because they're like all, on all sorts of chemicals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm. That's really, really interesting. Different balance with different tastes. That's, that, that affects your pH balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. The, Basically, just drink pineapple juice, and uh, it'll, she'll think it's yummy. I like I like sweet and musky, definitely. Sweet and musky. Sweet and musky. Yeah. That sounds like an affection. No. Musky. That's musky. A, what, what did you call it again? Sweet and musky. Sweet and musky. That's like the woman version of like, uh, oh, I don't know, Old Spice or something. No, it's like a, it's vanilla sandalwood. Oh. Vanilla sandalwood. Yeah. Wow. Very sensual. I know. She's a sensual lady. I, I have a thing Ooh. about smell. I, I really do. Like, I'm very sensitive oh, I know. to it. Girl, mm -hmm. me and my friends. Okay, so I'm, I'm, the I'm last time I was in guys. Austin, uh, me and my friends went into the ginormous monstrosity that is whole paycheck um, on Lamar and mm -hmm. 6th. Mm -hmm. And we sat there like, I was like lost in a wonderland. I'm not kidding. It was like. Uh, yeah, any Whole Foods here on steroids, like seriously. Ooh. So, uh, we're we're huffing like soaps and candles and just like, <sighs> 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 
seriously for like an hour, and it was mm. amazing. Just the different scents. I mean, yeah. everybody. And they give it, you they the little coffee you. beans so yeah, that you can you switch clean off. Your palette. Yeah, I do that. Have you ever been huffing? Um, I've never been huffing, but I'd like to see you guys huff each other. <laughs> I smell good tonight. <laughs> can you guess what I'm smelling? Oh. It smells like Estee Lauder, no? Hello, Chanel. Ooh. Can you guys? And, how Next. about reenact that TSA and thing? <laughs> is she re uh, that TSA thing? You, you know already did. No. You already did. Whatever. Oh, I guess anyway. not it's been done. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Mm, you almost smell like minty jasmine. I don't know why, but that's what I was thinking. Minty it smells like cilantro to me. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it was my salad. I ate salad. <laughs> that's right. I did Do too. I smell like lettuce? <laughs> That that it has a really that has like a vanilla taste to it. Mm -hmm. mm. It's probably this perfume stuff that I got at that Whole Foods. It's like this Tahitian stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tahitian is the best. My it friend, is. And my then, friend buys me that stuff all the time. The yeah. lotion, the body <sighs> butter. Oh, oh, forget about it. Body uh, butter. And my skin just feels like butter, like like a baby's ass. Yes. Touchy, touchy. Oh. Mmm, so soft, so soft. Oh, that, that I is, love a seat. Oh my god, that is nice. Yeah, I try hard. It's really. I, would I need to buff it a little bit right now. And how would you buff it? Lufa. Lufa. Exfoliating scrubs. Mm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Body wraps. Yes, yes, yes. Really? Is that in part the hot of tub? Mm -hmm. I love going uh, in the hot tub. Uh, we should get a hot tub. Here. Yeah, we should we shoot should. from a hot tub. That's right. We oh might do God. that. Do you have a hot tub? No, but I'll be kicking it poolside for my birthday on uh, July 31st. Coming now! Do you want to, or, and I'll be there till, yeah, you guys want to have the show there? Where? Absolutely! Where, where we uh, just got invited. invited. <gasps> uh, we, we are going to move out the, of our We are studio. going on location! Location! July, what? <laughs> July 31st. July 31st. That's next weekend, isn't it? Next week. Oh, your oh, birthday? Cool. Uh, August 2nd, but like I'll have a place on oh, the Oh, that's weekend. cheating. You can't cheat. Yay. That's cheating. Well, what's double celebration? Double happiness. Hello. Once, once. Nice. Double Uno, happiness. dos. Sí. <laughs> <See? laughs> there you go. You see, you're getting it now. You're getting it now. Yeah. Well, okay. Tell us more. Um, are you? Did oh, you wait, do wait, anything wait. fun this weekend? She, she or what? said something earlier. What, what did you tell us when you were driving over here about the parking? All oh. right, kids. I mean, this is reality here, folks. This is for real. I would like to do a PSA about people and their greedy parking. Have a little consideration, everybody. We're all in this together. Um, it's we have not, cars too. I mean, everybody's got a car in LA. No, really. I mean, really. No, really. Let me just tell you. Because tell it. Tell it. When you are needing to park and there are, okay, there's, I don't know, like, how many feet from block to block? Um, 190. There you go. 190, 190 feet. Okay. So 48% of parking space is not being used because people are parking, like, this far from the curb, this far, don't even this like far. Like, they're literally on this side of the street. Mm -hmm. I think five cars could have parked, and there were three. <gasps> three! And it was making my personal, like, it, it was making me, like, have such agita. And that's like, oh, killing me. <laughs> killing me in my inside. Like, my tiny baby Jesus heart inside me is dying. Because not only is it happening on the left side of the street, but it's happening on the right side, too. One guy is taking up two car parking space spaces. <laughs> and I mean, I was like, I don't know what's going on in your neighborhood, sister. But it's also happening down on this street, too. And I'm telling you now, I just want <laughs> white boogers I on their windshield. I was like, I really, I was yeah. like. Might as well wipe the boogers I'll on me. I'll get them for you. How's that? <laughs> There, I got them. That's why you're not getting your dick sucked. <laughs> That's why you're not getting laid. I That's why there's no nothing good problem. going on in your life. I have no problem. Because you park like a piece of I have no problem. Ha -ha. 
No, I have no problem. So you there's my public service announcement, people. And also be kind because that way, you know, the parking spot karma will come around and you will always find a parking spot when you need it. Eat, 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 and eat, and eat, all you eat, need to you. do in the future is get there earlier and you'll get your spot. No, really, don't be a dick lick. Yep. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened to me earlier and it was really... But, but, like, since then, I've kind of, like, settled and we delivered to you guys. Like, oh, we've got some medicine yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a drink as well? Because I think we need to make a toast because oh, it's... Uh, right here. All right. It's Nelson Mandela's 93rd oh, That's birthday. right. Yeah. Nelson Mandela. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Cheers. Nelson Mandela. How old is he? 93. You're strong. You did it, babe. Yeah. You did it. You're a fighter. And he has no idea what's happening today. That guy is like, uh, uh, you don't know that. Yes, I do. I saw Come a picture on. of him. He had a diaper on. He had like a like a thing. Why oh, you're always stirring the apron. pot? He you had an apron. Un, I'm telling you, I the saw the picture. I saw the picture. Yeah, it's a downer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Muhammad down. Ali. At least he's got hot chicks taking him around everywhere. <laughs> Muhammad Ali's got hot chicks taking He's amazing. There. I love him too. But anyway, so Nelson see. Mandela. So we know that Muhammad Ali can still see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nelson Mandela? Not so much. Well, no. I just... <laughs> his beautiful spirit. Even though we believe yeah. in you, we, we love Let, you. Let's talk about some of the things that that, that he's um, done. Because he's an, uh, a huge influence in... Um, South, uh, not just in South, South Africa, Africa, where he's from and where well, he governs. Worldwide. Yeah, yeah, where he, but East. yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I, I, honestly, I remember telling my boyfriends that I didn't want diamonds for engagement rings, and they were like, they they were like, what do you mean you don't want a diamond? And they were kind of take it as an insult because they're like, oh, you know, does that mean that I'm not good enough for you to be your husband or something? And I was like, no, 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 no. Don't be defensive. It's not that. It's because I, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to partake in that irresponsibility. You, you know they didn't I mean? understand. You needed to educate them on the subject. Exactly. Okay. And one of them actually said, no, what, what if it's a family heirloom? Bitch, like, I'm going to turn down a family okay. heirloom. Okay, well, that's a different that's story. That's a different story. That's a, I'm not going to turn down anybody's grandmother's no, Holocaust diamonds no. if it were ever presented to me. Oh, well, that don't even stop. Oh, my God. Like, Holocaust. don't. Holocaust. So, mm -hmm. no, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I But the it. whole diamond thing, yeah. I was like, no, I don't, you know, people should be treated better. And these things are overpriced. Like, you know, I want to, I want to be with somebody that loves me for me and yeah. is willing to go the whole, the distance. I don't want, I don't want, I'm not in it for the money. You'll and find the, the right symbol. And the, rock and the color and right. the cut. Well, you'll find the right that. ring. Yeah. It doesn't have to be so, diamonds. I want in other a, words, I want a band. Different Do you, yeah. Will you I take a diamond I'll, ring, I'll, I'll, a five-carat yeah, diamond ring? Yeah, keep it ring? simple. Would you take a five-carat diamond ring today? Would you take a five-carat diamond ring today? Yes, you would. <laughs> you know, you'd take that big old shiny Not rock. No. You would go like Nelson Mandela, who? No, 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 no. <laughs> the thing would be shining the studio lights. No, lights no, no. I don't have any, yeah, I don't have any diamonds. I have crystal, but I don't have diamonds. Even worse. Really? <laughs> yes. Is it, is it? Crystal's like from any yeah. dirt hole that you want. It's so easy to get. <laughs> Yeah. See? It's like there's nothing wrong with it. That's there's even worse. Wrong. It's a dirt home money diamond. Oh, come on. No, no, you don't understand what's going on with the blood diamonds and all that shit. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's true. Yeah. It's but just... It's totally different. It's not worth it. and But I. But it's not. It's something that I'm, I'm going to forget. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just... So what would you want just in case your future hubby's watching? Would you, um, hmm? would you get a tattoo ring? I, I, you know, I would do a tattoo heart. Birthstones are popular. That too, yeah. yeah, and yeah, and I would do birthstones. Yeah. I have a, to I'm, I'm November topaz. Beautiful. And, and they have different colors. Yeah. They have It'll like a brown like, one and a br and a blue one. Yeah. If you wanted to like go crazy and spend a lot of money, like get both birthstones and carve them into a thing that fits together, and then put that on a ring. Aww. That'll be like that's, ultimate. That's beauty. Uh oh, that's and he's talking beauty. about something. That's I can make a lot of money off of this. Yeah. <laughs> I really so, like your painting. I know, Tell it's really nice. Well, I have started on the purple oh, wow. there. So I want I just wanted to finish this one so and I had thought about doing the
polka dots in the background. Mm -hmm. That's great. Art's happening so, live. So another Bud Hart in the can. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm done because it's got the border all around it. Nice, nice. It's ready to go. Oh. I miss I miss the thunder one though. Oh, that was a beautiful. The thing. one that we did for the the what art challenge. Small one? In the first season, we did a uh, art challenge for Eddie to paint this a butt like that in uh -huh. a three by five feet canvas. Oh. And he could only do it on the show, so he did it in seven hours. Wow. Um, yeah. It's epic. Awesome. It's actually <laughs> hanging on somebody's wall right off by the canals. You know, yeah, it's in nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's beautiful. It, art it looks, is happening on mm -hmm. your show. Art happens yeah. every week. Every day. Support the arts. Life is Support art. The arts. I honestly right. believe every day. That life is art. It, you you want to hear something weird? Tell um, yes. I want to know what this is about. Like I I, I haven't I ha I've, I'm still doing research, but James Franco, the actor. Uh huh. You know, mm hmm. Hottie. Hello. Uh, James <laughs> Franco. <laughs> He um he he wants to do a museum for the non for non visible art. Wow, that is a great idea. So just paint the wall. No no no. Um, it, it, is that music or is that sense? Because no, we have it's all touch. kinds of sense. We have other senses. Touching texture. through art. You know, texture, texture, yeah. Okay. Texture art. Is it texture art? Liquid, I guess. Really crazy. You know, uh -huh, imagine uh -huh. cool. Check this out. Hot warm. The, this guy invented on uh, uh, Ted. You can go on online and look up Ted, and there's videos, and, the, and these guys created this uh, car for blind people to be able to drive. Mm -hmm. And there's this whole thing that's almost like you see your GPS map, and it has the roads and they're turning. Mm -hmm. but what it does is it shoots little bursts of air so you can see a map and they can see objects. Ooh. Like, so they can feel the objects coming towards them and wow. they can maneuver around them and stuff like that. That is cool. Not only that, <laughs> that oh my god, cool. technology! No, and they can no. also create a but sound the, room that would like yeah. have the sounds coming from different directions and like the, it like yeah, moves the, in waves and that it's would totally be awesome. cool. Yeah. Yeah. The guy designed it. I like that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, the guy designed it just as, as an experiment. He, he didn't think of it as being an actual production model, but they actually made a working truck that some guy drove around the Indianapolis 500 wow. and they had a blind person drive it and they were throwing things in the road and <laughs> it was what that is messed up <laughs> like you'd be driving like no. this uh. it was like tough tough driving conditions and he was able to maneuver wow. change lanes do everything wow Wow, technology. So, that was pretty crazy. You know, just for kicks, I just thought it like throw up a couple other little non, 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 non visual like, art, you know, like uh -huh. think about all the possibilities. I mean, that's what they do a lot on TED. It's and I think about it's that simulation. a lot. You know? How, it's texture, a texture right? could be things, simulations, or it could be um, other I things. I think that's great. It, it, what art is really is uh, observing something that isn't something and that's making right. it look like something else. I mean, look at my painting. It's, it's like. It, it, it's, it's a flat piece of thing with red, yellow, mm -hmm. blue, all these hues that I combine in a certain arrangement of shapes that look like this, you know? But that's all it is. It's an arrangement of shapes. It's not actually that. So, you know, if you're, pres like, like that is almost artistic is somebody showing a blind person a road right. that they can actually understand it as a road that's not really a road. It's just bursts of air in their hands. Wow. So that mm -hmm. is art, you know, and mm -hmm. being able to, like, imagine doing other crazy things. To people, interpret people it. To, like, interpret it. Kind of I mean, see things with, like, mm -hmm. other sensory um, perceptions. To all by to the hand. Right there. Else. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm going to be on Blind Man. Just Let me to see. feel it. Well, yeah. um, feel <laughs> we're we're going to follow, we're gonna follow the, the James Franco story and see where it leads up. And where, I think that's a great one. Where Let's he opens yeah. the museum. And hopefully we can shoot from there when it opens. Are, well, I think I respect him here? a little bit more now. Out here in L.A.? Uh, I think it's going to be in the arts. arts. Absolutely. Well, let's hope, James, please bring it to L.A. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at this. There's another really cool thing for you David Lynch fans. Any David Lynch fans? <gasps> yes, do yeah. tell, do yeah. tell. What, he's, what? He's going to be opening a club, Parisian oh. style. Ooh la la. Here in L.A., and it's supposedly based on Mulholland Drive. Wow. Mm. So, Angelinos, you guys have a new place to raid. Oh boy. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. But don't tell anybody. Uh, Only tell yeah. the cool people. <laughs> Is there an opening date or anything? Huh? Oh, for yes. Opening yes. date? No, not yet. It's still being worked on, but it's going to. It was announced this month. 
I wow. think that's great. Mm -hmm. He's so um, amazing. I miss his weather reports on Indy. Oh. I miss Indy. Oh. I still miss Indy. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. Just for talking There's about still, it. It's not the same that it's on the internet because, you know, not everybody can tune. to the radio on the tune. internet. It's the weirdest thing. It, uh, most people listen to um, the, the radio in their cars. So, Hace like, calor. Yeah. Oh, see. Sí. Oh, oh, si. Oh, That's okay. Sí. No, the family mm, just tried to uh, Yeah. You know, there's a story going around. We're going to bring it up a little here. Mm. Charlie Sheen. I know it's been a story in the past for us. Mm. Charlie Sheen's got a new show. <gasps> what? what? Already? Yes, he's got a new show. All right, did Rupert Call Murdoch fund it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Anger Management, just like the movie, mm -hmm. but it's a sitcom now. Oh. Anger Management. His character. Now hold your breath, oh everybody. Oh my God! Take a guess what his character is going to be. You're freaking kidding me. Take a guess. What would you think his role would be? Um, a uh, divorce. Out of four factor? Mm, no. Um, a. Uh, how about a uh, golfing. No, not even a, that. Uh, drug re rehab. Uh, His role he's going to be playing is a therapist. <laughs> he plays a therapist for anger management. <laughs> Silence? I think that's making fun of the end. The, I mean. Fuck. What can you think about it, you know? You're an asshole. I just know that you're an asshole, Martin Sheen. You're totally an asshole. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Charlie Sheen. You said Martin. Charlie Sheen. Oh. No, Oops. Charlie Sheen. Okay, Charlie. Oh, okay. Well, I meant Charlie. I said Charlie. Yes, you did. You said I Charlie. Heard you say Charlie. I think I was slurring. <laughs> anyway, so, okay. I have something funny. All right. So Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. um, 77 people were arrested on drug and alcohol charges. Speaking of Charlie Sheen. Yes. Oh. At a fish concert in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh? Raleigh. Raleigh. That, wow. <laughs> That's we are of, that's, slurring. That's mean. I'm sorry. That's mean. <laughs> well, I mean, if they were dumb enough to get busted, if you can't handle it, don't take it. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. So whatever, at least, I mean, were they watching for the pickpockets? Because let me tell you, the first time I ever went to a fish show in Austin, Texas, my friend was like, don't take anything you don't care about losing because there's pickpockets. Oh you know, there's like people traveling with the band, like these mm -hmm. gypsy thieves, <laughs> like kids, I don't know. They're not quite the post-apocalyptic homeless, but they're just like kind of crunchy groovy. I don't know. <laughs> crunchy groovy. I like crunchy That's groovy. That's great. <laughs> crunchy groovy it is. Yeah. 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 Pred so, wow. Predatory. Yeah. Predatory. If you can't, yeah, you know. You can't uh, yeah. take care of your business. Don't. I I want. I haven't been to a fish show, but I went to see the them in 3D. I saw the movie, mm -hmm. and I thought like getting back to like some of the uh, sensory talk that we were talking mm -hmm. about. You know, it was sensational mm -hmm. because people got up and they like brought a beach ball and they were playing with the beach ball. People were smoking inside the theater. <laughs> people were well, walking no. around. The movie no. theater is. Pretty much no, no. You're at a th time. you're at an IMAX movie theater, and people Still. are socializing, standing. They're pretending like they're at a concert, and it freaked me out. Cause I was like, "What is going? Like you, I was in a different world." Um, were they high schoolers? Were they taking LSD? No, no, no. It was people my age in early thirties. And they um, were all just maybe walking. these were weird kids that never got to play on the playground. And this is like Could opening be, yes. day. We went for opening Lack day. Of, wow. Yeah, they didn't have their no. parents were too sheltered and were like, you That's can't right. play on the playground. Too many germs. Too many weird children. I'll take them out of the closet totally when I want you to. Like I'm oh, good. I'm a grown up now. I'm gonna play. I want to play. I know. I want to <laughs> play. <laughs> well, okay. speaking of playgrounds, here in El Sereno at one of the parks on the playground. An innocent man was shot in the ass by tag <gasps> by taggers. <laughs> Believe it or taggers, not, he what? was. They were a group of taggers were spraying up the walls, tagging mm -hmm. the walls at a park. Mm -hmm. This guy mm -hmm. decided to be a great citizen, confronted the taggers, 
and argue with them, oh, trying to brother. tell them not to be defacing walls. But as he left, they shot him in the ass. <laughs> with, with That's a, the biggest mind your own like business. A bullet. Or like, like a BB. They shot him in the ass. With they a did. BB can with a real bullet? Um, I was an air rifle. Probably a, a <laughs> police were called, and of course, oh, yeah. you think the taggers would be like, oh, hell no. You hear the sirens, vamanos, vamanos. That's terrible. Yep, yep. Well, and moving on to another. That must, it must have been heated. I mean, it must have been heated. Yeah. It, well, they didn't kill him. They, they were like. They argued. The guy walked away and they said, chingale in the. <laughs> they I didn't don't know. kill him. <laughs> <laughs> they missed them and they got him in the ass. I don't know. Los Angeles. Do you think they missed? They didn't miss. They, they didn't miss. <sighs> They're taggers. <laughs> How old were they? Gee, I mean, I know that street art is important, but come on. I don't know that tagging is necessarily <laughs> street art, and that's just my I opinion. I think it's art. It just depends. I mean, you have to practice before you get better. But, but they probably were practicing. They were probably practicing. Yeah, yeah well, they need to practice yeah. on some dang paper before they start putting some up ugly, okay? Mm -hmm. How about starting with chalk first? Mm -hmm. And then work yourself up to the finger paints. Why don't you work on your own wall? <laughs> get some paper. Recycle something. Find some cardboard. You know, they used to use yeah. cardboard to go break dance. Why don't you do that? I don't oh. know. That was like what, in the 80s, huh? What else? Yeah, it was yeah, in the 80s. Yeah, you know. They burn it. It's art. Create it and burn it. That's fun. It's just, for me, like, it's, <gasps> yeah, you're right. It's terrible. Well, here, here's, let's, changing it up another little okay. notch. Change A this mom switch. tries to sell a baby at Taco Bell. What? Yes. Where? That's yes. craziness. In Hazel Bell, Washington. <laughs> oh I'm telling you, all these gabachos, they are really, really <laughs> trippy, you know? Taco Bell is, pr you know, is promoting their new menu. You know, they're, they're promoting their new menu, and they have a big promotion going on. So mom walks in there, meets with somebody, and tries to sell their, her three-day-year-old son for $300. The police arrested the mom. Oh protective God. services came, took the baby boy. Oh, my and God. And apparently she's been known to have a record. So oh. we're doing goofy stuff, drugs and everything. So she may have so She's in, in, in all oh. Well this is a straw that, that straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. So, so I guess the baby's it, gonna have a, a better life. No. It's sad. It's very sad. Here, Kansas City, because we're running out of time here. Mm -hmm. Kansas City, Missouri. A man faces felony sexual assault charges after he rapes a woman on a sidewalk. <gasps> because she thought he thought she was dead. Oh, what? That's... He thought she was dead, so he raped this woman on the sidewalk. And she didn't say anything? She played dead. What the fuck? Well, you would figure, it's like, you know, it's like, don't get up, scream, hit, scratch, kick. Do something. Exactly. Defend yourself, but ladies. But apparently she played dead. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah. And how is she? Well, uh, of course, the whole routine of the hospital and police report, but they got the guy. He's, he's in custody. That's disgusting. Yeah, he's in custody. Yeah. Well, At God Walmart? Well, her for surviving, surviving that. That's yeah. uh, really a very serious tragedy, and I don't feel like any kind of uh, acts upon women is ever all right and should ever be No, of uh, course done. not. And I'm glad it's that It's just one of those things. It. So, yeah, she, she survived it. You know, she's going to be well. Of course, it's never going to be okay. But, no, never. You know, it's like the guy grabbed her and she played dead. And that's Aww. that was when, her way to survive. You know, I mean, exactly. that's you know, that was her, that was her best defense was yeah. to exactly. play. She, you know, panic. You know, it, your, it affects people in yeah, different ways. Bodies, people's psyche can yeah. turn off and separate. Well, since you mentioned psyche, mm -hmm. Walmart store in Texas, somebody got a receipt. And apparently, Jesus appears on the receipt. <gasps> I know Jesus a few, wait a minute, I know, the I, receipt. I know a few Jesuses. Which ones? Is there, apparently, they went in and bought groceries and. Uh, Porque uh, Jesuses hay muchos. Well, uh, Jesus is on the receipt. <laughs> they bought underarm deodorant, shampoo, and they've been blessed. 
Only in Texas. Yep. Only yep. in Texas, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. Mm -hmm. Now, since we've been talking a lot about relationships and so forth, and, okay. and, and we want to get you guys, the viewers out there, to send in messages because we want to find out what everybody wants to send a message. Mm -hmm. Can a guy be friends with a girl without having sex? Huh? Can a guy or can a girl be friends with a guy without having it's sex? It's good to know. Because it usually happens It is a good way. question. I think, you know what, personally speaking, when you have a relationship with, um, a good relationship with a sibling that's from the opposite sex, mm -hmm. I think you learn how to develop friendships with women. Right, right. Because I have a good relationship with both my brothers and my cousins, my male cousins too, and my male nephews and, you know, so on and so forth. And, and it's something that I groom with them. Like, mm -hmm. hey, it's okay to talk to girls and for it ha not to have anything to do with right. sex. Yeah. You know, I think these are the things that we teach our family members. Yeah. And I think... That's the reason why I have, you know, male friends that I haven't slept with, you know. I mean, I, I, that's my <laughs> maturity. I, I, I have that maturity, <clears throat> but not everybody does, you right. know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, that's so. a great way of seeing it. Um, and this is big sister Claudia talking. I know. Have you guys heard about that new Google Plus? No. It's apparently the newest thing that's going to take over. And apparently, it's going to beat out Facebook. Ooh, Google Plus no. is going to beat out Facebook. Another thing that I have to it's like my what was it? MySpace to I Facebook. I can't do this anymore. From Facebook to um, Google I'm Plus. I'm just happy with one, please. I have Hootsuite now to help me organize my digital social life because <laughs> it's a headache. It's a headache, you know. I feel like I have multiple personalities with Tumblr and freaking Yahoo profiles and you Crazy. know Facebook profiles and my MySpace. I just have everything automatically updating my MySpace. I don't even go to my MySpace anymore. So you now can I've like I never even had a MySpace. See, and that's okay. I don't even have that's one okay. either. I don't even have space to be on MySpace. Yeah, I'm not that important. <laughs> Well, yeah. I do it to share stuff with my friends and family, <laughs> and if other people give a damn, okay, right. so be it. Well, apparently. <laughs> well, that's what I'm like, Facebook, okay, that's like, why do we need more? All right. Apparently, yeah. Google Plus it's it's does good business. everything. Everything, and you can chat, you can do, mm -hmm. I mean, everything. I you um, ever wondered, yep. it's a bigger plus. You know, people talk about being at locations, and you can mm -hmm. find out where so-and-so is at it maps them out. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Google Plus is uh, on a trial basis right now. And if you received an invitation, Lucky take you. It. Take Lucky it because you, you are part like... of the trial. Exactly. I was chosen, and believe it or not, Welcome. I didn't invite me. Invite me. Invite me. Invite me. Invite me. Invite me. Invitation. I want an invitation. I, I most, you know, people know Latinos and Mexicans for always being late and never being on time. I was late in checking my email, and I was oh. like, uh, I tried getting in. Okay, yesterday good. so I didn't make it so if you are yeah. part of this trial I hear it's really cool good luck good luck with it <clears throat> now a couple of things we talked about samba dancing mm -hmm. I want to find a good salsa and samba dancing place because you know sometimes you know we've talked we've gone to different like places to and you want to go so we just wanted to go out and dance. find out where we can go Ooh. She doesn't yeah. know how to dance. We should take her with See, we us. have different levels. We yeah. have a beginner, mod, intermediate, and advanced. Yeah, the, the one place you talked about. So it'd be cool to get the uh, feedback from three. Huh? Where's the place? Uh, oh, the samba. So you were saying samba. I like. I love samba. That's yes. my. Uh, but that's just because I love that music. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. bossa nova. Yeah. I love it to pieces. Astrid Gilberto kills me. It's her whole family actually, because she has a daughter, Babel, who also does amazing music. And but for me, it's just like ear candy. Like I listen to uh, mm -hmm. bossa nova and samba, and it's just like <laughs> it's candy to me. Candy in your ear. <laughs> Show us how, ah. how the candy works in your ears. Dulce de las orejas. Come on, get up and show okay. us a little bit. Well, I, I will in a second. Let me tell you guys about my whole, like, samba experience. Samba, yeah. samba, I'll samba. Close it, I'll close it with a dance. How's that? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're being told we got, like, how many minutes? Like, one, one minute. minute. We're close gonna, it up. Close we're it gonna up. We're going to try to make it a, a solid hour or at least as Send. close as possible. Yeah. And, and before, let me just say, there's apparently, there's somebody going around here in the, our studios. Uh, we're in Venice. 
there apparently there's a rapist going around. So if you live in the Venice area, please close your doors and windows. Lock All right, lock them, lock them. And Don't anybody that you figure out suspicious, call the police. Nine one one. So back. Yeah, somebody stole my neighbor's car too. Really? Yeah, so it's hot right now. What's going on in this neighborhood? First the parking, then there's crime. I don't know, but yes. something's got to be So done. that's our police, you know, update. So yeah. please tell us about this. Okay, so I was um, uh, interested in samba, and my friend told me, oh, there's this place called uh, Cafe Danza where you can go Friday nights, and Ooh. they'll teach you for an hour. It's $10. What city? And it was... Here on the west side, it was in, it started in West LA, but it relocated. Um, so what happened was, I would go and I lost a lot of weight doing this because Ooh, it's so you're moving, much it's fun. You're moving and, yeah. and la, la la, and like the the instructor, she was awesome. It was inspiring. I felt Yay. like something was hap I felt like I was a part of something, and something was happening. And later Yay. on, I went to the Brazilian Carnival in Hollywood, and there was like the dance troupe and the musicians that would host this one night, Friday night, on nice. the west side, was performing, and it was part of the, both, like, all the carnivals that travel Brazilian in the... Brazilian women. Oh, my God, the outfits and the whole thing, and they're beautiful. I know, I mean, a whole lot of shaking and going on. Nargas. Now, that's talking about having nargas. <laughs> okay, and we have a large community on the west side. You can see it all through Venice Boulevard. Um, Brazilian? With, yeah, there's a... Here? There's hotels. Right by our studios? There's a hotel in Washington. Right by our studios. There's, there's Brazilians. We have Brazilians. And they sell their food. Yeah. And they have a venue. So they went, they upgraded because they had like the whole, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu classes. Oh, and yes. they had the whole performance yeah. thing. And it's all developed. And now in like, there's a place called Zabumba. Zabumba. Uh -huh. It's a restaurant and it's a nightclub. 21 yeah. and over. Let's go. They changed the party night to Saturday and you go and you learn how to dance and they have a 15 member drum band with another little guy on the another Who cares guy about on the, the guy? guitar are there women singing. yes there's women uh, are there men and they're shaking uh, their ass okay are there men I went and they look hot shake their ass. and nice and and and, and they're beautiful. No, and then they have a DJ too. So between sets, they go on and off. It's awesome. I love it. I have the best time. So there's food, there's drink. We're running drink. out of time, there's folks. There's food, there's drink. It's Please, and over. Please, any and information, all right. go to any our website on our show. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you, Lori, Thank for coming you, Lori. back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, My house is your house. My house oh, is I'm your house. House. My house is your oh, house. Oh, you gotta love this. Gotta love this. It is a <laughs>